आई एम सो डिलाइटेड टू हैव अनदर बुक फ्रॉम वन ऑफ माय फेवरेट ऑथर्स की आगो हिगोशिनो ट्रांसलेटेड इनटू इंग्लिश डेथ इन टोक्यो इज द नाइन्थ एंट्री इन हिगाशिनो सीरीज फीचरिंग क्योचिरो कागा बट ओनली द थर्ड टू बी ट्रांसलेटेड इन इंग्लिश स्टे ट्यून फॉर अ डिटेल रिव्यू ऑफ द बुक हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल वेयर आई पोस्ट वीडियोज रिलेटेड टू बुक्स If you are new here, then do subscribe to my channel for new bookish videos every week. In today's video, I am going to review one of my recent reads, *Death in Tokyo* by Kiyago Higashino. If you are a fan of crime fiction and mysteries, then this book is definitely one that you won't want to miss. It is the third book in the Detective Kaga series to be translated into English, but can be read as a standalone. The story begins with the stabbing of a businessman on a public street who somehow manages to get to the Nihonbashi bridge before dying. The victim dies on the bridge beneath the statue of a mythical beast Kirin. A suspect is soon apprehended with victim's belongings in his possession. But while fleeing the police, the suspect is hit by a truck and later dies giving the police no opportunity to question him. But all the evidences point against the suspect and everyone accepts him to be the killer. However, Tokyo police detective Kyochiro Kaga doesn't accept the simple answer and keeps digging deeper into the reasons why the victim and the suspect both were in the same area of Tokyo. The investigation is further complicated by the fact that the suspect cannot speak for himself. Throughout the book, we follow Kaga as he interviews witnesses, uncovers clues, and navigates the complex relationships and hidden motivations of the people involved in the case. Higashino's writing style is engaging and immersive, drawing you in with every twist and turn. Along the way, we learn about the cultural practices of Japan, like the Nihonbashi Seven Lucky Shrines pilgrimage and the making of origami paper cranes to be burnt as offerings, and social issues like health and safety concerns in public factories. The methods of inquiry, the follow-up interviewing, and the persistence of detectives keeps the story interesting throughout the novel. what they discover is equally fascinating and unexpected one of the things i liked about the book was how well developed the characters were each had their own unique personality and back story making them feel like real people instead of just plot devices also the mystery was very intriguing and kept me guessing till the end the pacing of the book is a bit slow especially around the middle section the subplot where kaga is pressurized by his deceased father's nurse to make arrangements for his father's second death anniversary doesn't make sense to me it is not one of my favorite higashino's mysteries but still it was enjoyable and kept me guessing till the end overall i would definitely recommend a death in tokyo to anyone who loves crime fiction or mysteries the characters are well developed the writing is compelling and the mystery is engaging while it may not be the fastest paced thriller book out there but it is definitely worth a read So this was my review of a death in Tokyo by Kiyago Higashino. Have you read any of Kiyago Higashino's mysteries? If yes, then do share your favorite Kiyago Higashino book in the comment section. And if you have enjoyed this video, then please like, comment and share. And if you want to see more such bookish videos, then please subscribe to my channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Until my next video, bye and take care.